Okay, we are going to implement a bootstrap to our blog. Let's go to the bootstrap website and you can download from here. And after you download it, uh, you got a three directory and make a bootstrap directory by yourself like this. And we will move to this bootstrap directory to the static static. Okay. and go to the template pages of bootstrap and select block template and after you go to template pages uh, please show the element of this pages and copy it all of source code And after that, we will make a new file. The name of the file is base.html file. This file will be a, a base file for other template. And paste it the bootstrap block code to base.html file and save and make a new file for template pages the name of this file is top.html file And go to the urls.py and we will use this url pattern for top pages so after you reload your web browser uh, they will notice about the error because we haven't made any views for this form function so we have to make a views.py file So let's go to the blog directory and make a views.py file here.
So we will make a definition for top pages. This definition just return a top .html file to us. Our definition name is top. Uh, we have to modify the URL patterns from home to top. So when you reload your web browser, you were able to see the top pages. And next, we have to connect this template file to a bootstrap files. So this static URL is same as this static directory. And bootstrap means this bootstrap directory. So we also have to make a connection for JavaScript. So we will delete some source code like this. And make it block main tag under the blog main tag. 
So uh, you can insert other content from other template using this uh, block main tag. So in order to inherit it base.html file to other template, you will use extend tag and uh, you paste block main tag here. So you can uh, display top page content on the base.html file. But uh, maybe we forgot to import another CSS file from bootstrap. We have to make, we have to check it. So we need this blog.css file. Uh, let's go to the bootstrap template and find uh, this blog.css file. So after you find blog.css file and please copy it and after that we will make a new file in bootstrap CSS. Uh, make a new file. The name of file is blog.css. and paste it here. So don't forget to make a link to this blog.css. So after you reload these pages, you can see a perfect pages. Good.